Time now to check in on the best American male gymnast, the three-time national champion, three-time American Cup winner, Blaine Wilson. September last year, shoulder surgery. He has shown us on more than one occasion that he's totally over that and ready to go, ready to accept the challenge that comes ahead later this year in the World Championships and next year, of course, in the Olympic Games. And, Al, another challenge for him here at this competition is he has assumed the role of team captain. And he said he feels like he's back in college competition again where he assumed that role as a junior athlete. But he came to this meet asking his team, are you guys ready to win? And, of course, no one's going to look Blaine Wilson in the eyes and say no. Well, this is a winning routine so far. All of the components you need. Little bit of a struggle there. But that is one thing that Blaine Wilson does so well. There is no way he is going to give up. He fights to the bitter end, squeezes every tenth out of every routine. Good fight. Going to be a good score. You hear Ron Brandt, coach in the background, saying good fight, and it was. All right, all right. LP, you mentioned college. That was at Ohio State, and you talked about leadership today. He was saying the slogan for the team is stop the bleeding. One guy has a bad time. The next one's got to nail it. Shawana score 8.80. Actually, credit where credit is due. That was a slogan come up by Jair Lynch in 1996, Olympic silver medalist. If there's a problem, jump in there and stop the bleeding. So Blaine is recycling. <laughs> Environmentally conscious. Good. Dragulescu of Romania. And this is great. You love to see this. The Coda Point really doesn't encourage double layout with a full twist. Marion is the 98 junior national champion for Romania. This is his first year on the national team. Very intricate pass right here. Three elements in a row. Double twisting forward. You know, it, it's so frustrating to see this because Everyone can see little tiny mistakes in that tumbling pass, but it is so very difficult to do three elements in a row like that and like this and have it work out well. Typically, we see after each Olympic Games Atlanta and then in Sydney, a major change in the rules, and they are talking about even bigger changes, eliminating the 10.0, having an open scoring system, I think that would be disastrous for gymnastics. What it needs to do is get back to the roots. This is an athletic sport, but it's also supposed to be beautiful, and this is awesome right here. Double, whoa, double twisting, double somersault at the end. Unbelievably difficult. Back on the pommel horse, the score for Blaine Wilson, a 9.55. That gives the United States back-to-back 9.55s. Earlier, it was Chris Young. Now we're going to cross over here at the Richmond Coliseum to Yuki Tamita. Not the best American gymnast, but certainly to me the best American story. He's coached by Yoichi Tomita, his dad, who came to the United States with $1,000 in his pocket that he borrowed. He has since repaid it. His dream is to give the United States for what it has given him an Olympic medal. And that dream lives in his son. I never thought Yuki would be a good gymnast. He was a very clumsy a little child. He would take three steps and fall over. And he used to eat drinks a lot. And he was kind of a little chubby kid, tagging along with me. When I was younger, I had a really bad attitude. You know, I complained, I whined. You know, I was like the spoiled little kid of the gym. He always told me that when I was ready, he would coach me. Interesting thing happened when he was about five years old. All of a sudden, he started working on his handstand every day. And I would say about the time he was seven, I felt like maybe he has a chance. At 17, remember, this is a new face of hope on the American scene. For a young kid, he actually takes his time. Yes. Long routine. He's a little tired. Struggles over, but a great exercise. And Yuki Tomita has saved his best for last. And if you asked his father, he'd probably say, you're watching boy become man. I was a member of uh, a Japanese high school national team toward the United States for three weeks. And uh, I just fell in love. So Yoichi left home at a time when Japan was Sukuhara and Kasamatsu, a gymnastics powerhouse creating the moves we see today. In effect, he was leaving the New York Yankees to start a new league. Many people 
have uh, advised me, why are you leaving? You have a very good chance becoming Olympian in Japan. But uh, I really had a dream of doing something very different. And uh, I wanted to be a coach. U.S. was still very primitive in gymnastics. And I really felt like uh, my presence may make some difference here. Yoichi Tomita of Japan and Southern California, not yet a U.S. citizen, competing but not eligible to take home a medal. In 1980, Yoichi's papers weren't processed fast enough to make the Olympic team. But in 1988, he went to Seoul as a U.S. coach. And from Arizona, eight-year-old Yuki watched dad in the opening ceremony. It made an impact. Be precise and be aggressive. Those two, be precise. It's a great relationship because we've got different personalities. He's more the, the really energetic, outgoing, you know, let's go guys type. And I'm sort of pretty quiet and pretty focused. It's good that we have each other to complement each other. Okay. Everybody tells me that, you know, you look always happy. I say, I am. I am very happy. Uh, how, many, how many people, how many father has, has a chance to spend the time with your own son when he's 19, 20 years old, for three, four hours a day? You're chasing for the same dream. No, Yoichi, not many dads do. And it's great to hear that he embraces the moment. Tim, they talked about Yuki and Yoichi, about Sydney as a fabulous opportunity. But they focus on Athens as saying that will be when he's at his physical peak. What about well, it? Well, it's one thing that Yoichi does so well. He has a very long-term plan for all of his athletes. And he thinks that that is the time when Yuki will be at his peak and be able to contend with the very best in the world. On this event right here, he contends with them right now. His best international result was a bronze medal at the Goodwill Games last summer right here. He has a beautiful body line. Take it home. Take it home. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's Ron Brandt in the background. All right, good job. And Yoichi as well, of course. Hey, good decision. Nice. Good decision. Good the job. Good job. Great right to step up. You did. Is a 9.4. Trent, come on. Tim, that's, what decision is he talking about? I want to talk about team effort, because we weren't 100% everyone, but everybody fought for everything, got all your tents back, right? We're going to need it the rest of the day now. Come on. Okay. A little confidence, have some fun with it. It's fresh, right? Come on. Well, Al, we'll actually get to that in just a minute. But first, this is one of the reasons why he is a contender for an Olympic medal. Watch his right hand. He'll put it down backwards right there, and he'll do a full spin on one arm. One of the very few people in the world capable of doing that so difficult. Also has a tremendous body line. But getting back to that decision, he's supposed to, after he lands in a handstand, do a full turn, decides not to, is a little bit off balance right there, just comes off the horse. That only cost him a tenth of a point. It was a good decision because he was a little bit off, a little bit tired. Yuki, way to bring it up. I see. Wish I could have finished it, but... Uh... Fighting his butt off to get a 9.525. Dragulescu score from earlier a 9.4. So the United States remains in front. And this is the first of six rotations. Chinese on the ring. Xiao Zhe, 20 years old from Wuhan in China. Remember, Al, this team is counting a 7.9 score. Now, since then, they've had two guys that have posted scores in the low nine. So they're looking for a big score to help save this team. And he may actually be able to deliver on that. Critical to do perfectly executed strength parts. Nice inverted cross there. They'll do it again. When you swing to it, you get additional bonus points. You also see the double saltos like this right here. Maybe just a little bit short on that last cross. But this is 
miles and miles better than we saw from the first two Chinese on rings. Yeah, they definitely saved their best for last. Nice double layout, somersault, little shimmy on that landing, but they are so happy to be done with still rings and contemporary gymnastics. Still rings by far the lowest scoring event. A chalky high five for Xiao Zhe. The Chinese will be moving on to floor exercise. The United States heading over to the still rings themselves. Very consistent opening rotation for Blaine Wilson and company. The score for Xiao Zhe is a 9.40. The United States, however, is blowing them out. The bobble's costly, 37.575. They lead Romania by just over a point, and the Chinese by over two points.